In this demo, we're showing how Daniela, a project manager at Dentsu, which is an integrated marketing and media company, might manage the process of updating the branding of a client's website. 1. She uses Copilot to gather and summarize information about the website deployment guidelines. 2. She uses Copilot to invoke the plugins and context. Here she creates a ticket in her project management tool and assigns it to someone on her team. Three, finally, she asks Copilot to retrieve and add an updated Contoso logo to the newly created project management ticket. Here, all this happened in a snap, but consider how tedious it is doing this manually. It requires multiple steps, aggregating information from multiple sources, and working across many interfaces. With Copilot, she can do all of it without breaking the flow of work. Let's take a closer look at what's really going on here with each turn in the process. The first turn is gathering information. Here, you're seeing the deep retrieval and summarization capabilities of Copilot. Copilot is not only able to traverse all the data Dentsu has in Microsoft Graph to include SharePoint documents, Outlook emails, Teams chats with colleagues, and more, but it's also traversing content from Confluence using a Confluence Microsoft Graph connector which is bringing indexed data from Confluence into Microsoft Graph. In addition to what Copilot extracted from Confluence, it also includes new steps in the process that were identified from email data, the rollback plan, updating the logo, and performance monitoring. Copilot returns a summary of the deployment guidelines with a citation for each relevant artifact, chats, emails, and documents. Because Copilot is powered by full semantic search, it was able to include steps in the deployment guidelines that otherwise might have been missed. The second turn is invoking plugins and context. Dentsu uses Jira as their ticket management tool. Jira integrates with Teams and Outlook using a message extension. With Copilot, the Jira message extension now functions as a plugin and creates a ticket using the context and information gathered in previous turns. It pre-populates several fields, like the project name and the summary, and it also includes a description based on the context found in an email. But as helpful as Copilot is, we still have to make a few edits, like adding a ticket owner. Then we're all set. Back in Teams, Copilot has already summarized its actions, including a reference to the newly created ticket. Now, the final and third turn for this demo. Here is where Copilot interacts with an enterprise application, in this case, to retrieve a branding asset. Dentsu's brand web catalog is in their internally developed CS Assets application, which integrates with Teams using message extensions. Using some precise language in the prompt, for example, the name of the asset catalog increases the fidelity of Copilot's response. When we've confirmed that Copilot has retrieved the right branding asset from this line of business tool, it's just a matter of telling Copilot to update the Jira ticket with the Contoso logo for reference. Copilot does the rest finding the previously created ticket from the context, invoking the comments dialog, and pre-populating the comments with a link to the logo file. Copilot summarized the changes to the JIRA ticket and includes references to the artifacts. And we're done. So to summarize, one, as a developer, you can use Microsoft Graph Connectors to bring data into Semantic Index for Copilot to generate deep insights into your organization's data. Two, you can also build plugins to integrate skills into Copilot that may significantly streamline tasks and processes. The place to get started today is by leveraging message extensions in your applications. Three, Copilot can combine insights from Microsoft Graph Connected Data with actions from integrated plugins into multi term processes, boosting productivity and keeping customers in the flow of work, all while preserving the integrity of your app's experiences and the attribution of its content. Thank you.